Hey everyone, today I'm painting Lilith from Arcadia Quest. As you can see, I've started with my usual Barbarian Skin Primer by um, the Army Painter. Uh, I accidentally painted a magic bubble gum pink for some reason, uh, without realising it's sort of a blue lightning effect. So I'm starting with um, Army Painter's pink to just fill in her tongue. Next is the Army Painter's Brain Matter Beige. It, all, all my Army Painter sets, uh, paints are from the Zombie Side set. Um, here I'm using the white to fill in her eyes, and I'll also be doing a dress with this this colour. Um, switching between that was the Army Painter's Detail Brush for the eyes, and this is the Monster Brush for a dress. Just trying to fill it in neatly, quickly, and efficiently here taking extra care around her arms as they are the colour I want them already. You can see it's starting to fill in. Um, I don't need to be too careful around the, the magic effect because I painted it the wrong colour. So now I've switched down to the regiment brush just to catch uh, the, the bit holding up a dress. You saw I made a mis little mistake there so I wet the brush to flood the area to get the white off of her chest and just touching up any bits I've missed here this model's particularly easy as it's mostly just a white dress and dark hair uh, she's got some sort of white highlighting on her hair as well so I'll just fill in those few strands I've been quite careful there although I don't think you need to be because I'm going to fill it over with a darker colour next up is the claymore blade which is the Army Painter's lighter silver, and I'm going to be painting her. Uh, she's got a sort of arm bracelet, an armlet, as you will, um, and an actual bracelet as well. Uh, she's got a necklace that I'll fill in, and a bracelet on her right arm. Although it's some sort of glovey bracelet on her right arm, so I'll, I'll catch the back of her hand too. Um, I'm going to do her belt effect in, in the silver as well while I'm here, just so I don't have to use as many colours. Next I'm using the Valio Electric Blue, which I'm going to use to do her, her irises. It's quite a bright blue, it's the brightest blue I own. And I'm also going to do the base coat of the lightning -y Blue Magic effect in the same colour. Uh, she's also looking at the, the character card, got a few blue gems in her necklace. So I'll be, uh, be using the same blue for that. Again, I'm using the regiment brush here. Um, I would have done it with a monster brush, but it's a bit too close to the dress which I've just painted, so I didn't want to catch catch a dress again, having just done it. There you can see the blue's all filled in. So for a hair, I'm going to be using the Necromancer Cloak from the Army Patent set I have. Um, I'm going to be using the Monster Brush to fill it in as fast as I can, and it's quite a large area. And it's a really dark grey, it's just off black, so that's the colour of the hair in the card. I find using black itself just loses some of the, the detail, so a lot of the time if it looks black, I'll use the Necromancer Cloak. and it. I think it just makes it look slightly better. It's not quite black, but as you can see, that you can see the hair strand still, and I find with black it just sort of disappears. And while I'm waiting for all that to dry, I'm just going to paint the base using the um, Citadel's Mournfang paint, which I think I pronounce differently every time I make a video, but I, I do the base the same for all of my Arcadia Quest uh, heroes. In fact, I've done the, uh, the monsters the same. So next I'm going to start adding the, the shadows to the model. So I'm using the Zombie Shader, which is a, a lightish brown ink, or wash. I'm going to use this to to do all of the skin and a hair and a dress. I'm trying to get a lot of the wash in the, the deepest crevices and just catch it on the, on the raised parts of her, uh, which I'll highlight up anyway in a minute, but... I, th I find it just saves on highlighting if you get that right. For the lightning magic effect, I'm going to be using the blue tone ink or shader. Um, 
I've gone for also catching her, her hands, the, the fingers, uh, the, the dress which is around the magic as well. I'm going to try and give a sort of glow effect to it. By the end of the video I decided I really didn't like it very much. It didn't look very good and it didn't look it glowed so I'd advise um, skipping that bit and just highlighting her hands up um, normally. Um, so now I've moved on to the highlighting so I'm using my War Painters detail brush um, and I'm just going over in the, in the um, it's Survivor Skin is the paint which is a 99% or 100% match on the Barbarian primer I've used so I'm just highlighting up the, the raised parts of her face, her chest, her arms uh, trying to leave the, the crevices all nice and dark with the ink getting all of her fingers here her forearm as well uh, fingers on the other hand and just off camera slightly and next I'm going to highlight up the, the brain matter beige um, just using the same colour again trying to catch all of the individual strands of her hair as well as the the straps for a dress which are quite difficult to get to so I'll do this first along the top of a dress and then I'm switching to my dry brush, brush still using the brain matter beige I'm going to catch all of her hair now um, highlight again the white part so it's extra white and then using the, the smallest amount I can get on the brush to do her hair just to give a, a light grey highlight to all the strands of her hair and then I've gone round a dress again and next I'm using the same white and the same dry brush to do the the magic effect so just lightening up the blue getting trying to get the very tip so it looks white as though it's glowing white and I just keep adding to the dress every time it's dried a little bit and I'll dry brush a little bit more just keeping keeping catching the edges so the highlight of a dress I'm just going back and adding some blue into the to the edges of the crevices so it's sort of white on the very tip dark in the in all the holes and then a light blue again around the edge just where the dry brush cut a little bit too much for my liking I'm just touching up her shoulders with the skin colour again and dead black which is my black just to add two pupils here I'm switching to the pale flesh just to add the, the top level highlight to the skin so I'm catching her nose and her cheekbones here uh, it's quite a little bit difficult to see in the light sorry I, I keep playing with the lighting and to this painting I've done in the day so apologize for the lighting continually changing but that's basically the sun going in, in and out I tried to keep it refocusing and I tried to block the sun with my shadow so it was light but not too bad so I'm going back to the base now and I'm using the Agrilan Earth by um, Citadel or Games Workshop and this is the, the usual what I do with the base is apply a very very generous layer as thick as you can manage without catching the model um, knowing that, oh there you go, you saw it transform with, in front of your eyes it, as it dries it cracks and gives that sort of dirt desert effect so that's the model finished, so I'll just give you a rotation so you can see it all I'm reasonably happy with it. Um, it's not one of the characters we use the most. I did it qu quite quickly, probably the fastest one, with it only being a handful of colours. It was very, very quick to do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know what you think in the comments, and if anybody's got a preference on what model gets painted next, drop that in the comments, um, and I'll probably do that one for you. Thanks for watching.